right, good afternoon. I'm in uh, an area I've been before, but a new, but a new area of the area I've been to. I've never been on this road. Um, I'm gonna look for uh, a couple of things on here. I did have class this morning, so uh, I didn't get a chance to go out and I decided to, tomorrow is usually the day that I go out, I'm going to use that day to catch up on uh, work, so I'll see you when I see you, hopefully I'll something, but anyway, I'm going to go before this phone dropping is going to drive me crazy, so I'll catch you later. Really? Come on, move! Come on, get off the road. So, so I'm at work right now. Had to work overnight. And I just flipped a pine with a little snake. So, Small one. Probably one of the lotus snakes. There are a rear fang of cluberid. Um, majority of the range are actually considered uncommon, but. Oh, wow. Yeah. Almost lost it. But um, in the county I am in, like central Florida. In like Gainesville area, they're very super common. Um, this is actually my first one in a year, which is really weird. I would usually find like at least 20. Um, so I'm gonna take a picture of this guy and I need to keep on searching while I work. But cool snake, first snake of the night. I'm gonna let this guy go. He had awful musk, by the way. Um, you know, some people think garters and and Nerodia have the worst um, uh, musk, but I I disagree. I I think they do. They they're just ugh. Um, but the cool thing, their diet like small frogs, small lizards. So like little brown skinks are part of the prey menu. So anyway, that was cool. I'm gonna let him go and uh, hopefully I can see something else. Look how yellow this green tree frog is. At first I thought it was a squirrel, but that stripe in the side tells me it's a green. Really weird looking, of course, same time. Anyway, I'm gonna keep on going what I was doing. But you know, if I find anything else, that is interesting. See ya. You uh, stuck in there, boy? Need help? Alright, on. Uh, alright, all I know is that I need to edit that. Hey. No. Stuck in there. So I'm going to tip this over. There you go, bud. Day. Um, I'm back in the mangroves where I was uh, last week where I didn't find anything besides a gopher tours. Um, uh, this wasn't original the plan. I was supposed to go to um, uh, up north and the Piedmont of Georgia, but um, 
to the weather, it wasn't looking good. So I decided to come back up here where it was supposed to be no rain. As you can see, uh, that might be fault. Um, hopefully it just stays overcast. That would help a lot. Um, but I will let you know if I find anything. If I don't find anything, I just probably scratch this. Um, I don't know why I'm telling you that because if you see this, then I did find something. If I didn't, I don't know. But either way, I'll stay, stay here and, and until probably mid afternoon and then go up north and a little bit up north. Um, and then go road cruising until dusk. Um, Sally, the area I want to road cruise closes at sunset, so I only can do dusk road cruising so we'll see what happens anyway i'll let you know if i find anything it's a wingless wasp or a velvet ant or a calculator whatever you want to call it it's a flora species i don't know what species we have here I just saved striped crayfish. Light eyes on nine. I thought I was gonna say, see anything. Cool. It's my third time seeing this year, and I got my life for this year. This is the third county I found him. So I'm gonna take a real quick, quick picture of this guy, and then let him on his way. Cool. All right, I'm gonna let this guy go. He's going this way, so. I'm going to go this way. There you go. Pew. Cool beans. I don't know why I said cool beans, but now I'm going to go. Uh, that's disgusting. But also a good thing. Feral pigs are destroying ecosystems. Especially when it comes to salamanders, so... It's not a loss, but again, that's gross. I don't know how he died, but that's nasty. All right, I'll keep on looking for stuff and see if I can find some more stuff, but I'll let you know. All right, good morning. I'm in North Georgia again. I'm gonna hike some stuff right now and see if I can find anything. It's a cloudy, overcast day, so I should find some good stuff, hopefully. So I'll let you know what I find. Uh, first find is a wing neck chowing down on a worm. That's pretty cool. Um. Small one. All right. Right there is a Midland water snake. I've got some far away pictures, not all that great. Let me try to get closer and see if I can get better pictures. Cool. And C2, by the way. If I need to hurry up, this rain is coming. Okay. All right, that's cool. Well, I'm actually gonna put this board back. One. Oh, I need to take my breath. There's a skink. Looks like a juvenile common fire line. And a creek. Really weird. 
Anyway, I'm gonna keep on looking. Back in the cool. This is my second Midland water snake. First baby. First one I saw, ah, is right over there. And then the second one was over there and not an adult, but I only got pictures. I didn't get any video, but pretty cool. And then along go right there. Yeah. Bye. Some rum nips. All right. Um, I mean, I can't. I can't really complain how today went. Not exactly how I want it to go, but you know, I can't complain. You know, uh, I just went into a really cool observation of a ringneck actually eating a worm. So you know, that's that's cool. Uh, three line salamander. Can't forget that. Uh, three million water snakes, uh, which are technically my life for subspecies of the common water snake, so can't complain about that. You know, uh, um, yeah, I'm disappointed I didn't see a king snake, um, didn't see a fowler's toad, which, you know, it's they're kind of hard to find in Florida, and then. I mean, my main target, queen snake, I didn't get to see. So, uh, I have an appointment on next week. Um, so, I don't know if I'm going to actually try one more uh, look for queen snakes, but I am going to go, I know I'm going to go flipping at a spot. Um, we'll see what happens if I have time to go look for queen snakes I might but I doubt it um because my appointment is at 420 and my the flipping side is like three hours away so we'll see what happens um I'm gonna probably add everything from the last two weeks this week and next week for um just kind of like the last of like summer and beginning of fall kind of vlog and then on, and when October starts I'm probably going to start a new vlog and that's going to be like October and stuff like that before I go to Sand Hills so I'll let you know how everything goes um, time to drive a long ways to go home but I decided to end it early just because I need to get gas and stuff like that so I'll see you later.